a defining media. And what TV and the movies have been in the 20th century, I think very much games are becoming now in the 21st century a defining medium. Um, TV and before that the movies, I think, expressed like no other medium the industrial way of life, its perception of time and space, its mentality, and its conception of what it means, or rather meant, to be human. That's what generations before us, and if you're as old as I am, uh, my generation as well, learned from the movies and learned from TV, what it meant to be human. And I think uh, if we look back a uh, hundred years, we can see that the movies have been uh, very much at the stage the games are at now. They were considered by many uh, a lowly attraction for the uneducated masses. They were attacked because they corrupted um, the morals and the senses of young innocent people. They incited to violence, crime. Uh, that was the movies in 1900, 1910, 19, early 1920s. And I think um, it's. I think it, the risk is not too big to say that the games are going very much a develop, are make, going through a development phase very much like that. And what I see um, among game design students is a real lack of visual literacy. Yeah, I mean, we went through the old Warner Brothers cartoons 10, 15, 20, 30 times, you know, just 30 seconds. And there's still things that people coming from a game background simply miss. And I think that also you know, is maybe one thing that, uh, that game design can learn from film is that you know, the level of visual literacy that I see among film students is simply much higher. They really know how to look. And that's something that's actually really difficult and takes a long time to learn. I see, especially in the uh, in the game uh, animation area, I see uh, a very technical approach. It's about oh, how can I make this character walk over there? But it's not about that. It's about uh, impact. It's about uh, um, um, some yeah individual approach for for each character. And it's not about all all about motion capturing. And it's not all about the latest version of 3D Max or Maya. It is there. There's much more in the field of animation that you can bring into uh, the field of, of games. Uh, and this is not only the animation, but it's also the character design, that's the world design, etc., etc. We spoke before, we spoke about uh, the intellectual property that the people, the students need for being enabled to, to do that. And of course, if you look, for instance, at the big, uh, at the big uh, Disney films like Snow White, for instance, they did a lot of research in painting, in, in drawing, in, in, in uh, graphic arts, etc., etc., and until they came up with their with their final vision. So there's a big fund that they use in generating something, and I think this is something that would be also good for uh, for the games industry. And this also might change that in the end we see star troopers, dwarfs, spaceships. So new subjects new visual approaches, new design, new artistic concepts. I think this is something we really need desperately. But uh, I, um, I try to view this from a perspective, from my perspective as, a, as an employer who, who is uh, searching for people who can um, um, add to my team. And um, what I think is that the, the gaming industry is not um, educating many specialists at the moment. Um, that's, on the one hand, it's a good thing because I, I like it when a person comes to my uh, company and he has uh, kind of an overview about all the aspects in game development. It's really important that the team can work as, as a whole. If, if the artist does understand the needs of the programmer and the game designer does understand uh, that QA is not testing like a game designer would test the game and stuff like that. So I really think that's very important. But um, when you evolve as a company, which we did in the last few years, then you're searching for more and more specialists in, in, in different fields, like uh, like a network program or someone who especially does uh, writing and, and not global game design, stuff like that. And I think that uh, from what I know about the education in gaming, they don't do that a lot. Um, I think the problem that we have right now is that you know, there is 
such an immense pressure for people to get university degrees. And you know, in Germany particularly, we have this uh, old-fashioned Bildungsideal, and you know, we have this idea that a university degree should give you an overview of the field. And so you know, I think a lot of the specialized people that you need for games development, animators, programmers, etc., um, you know, they don't have to come to you with a university degree. They need the skills. So you could do that with a vocational degree. And if somebody wanted to do a university degree, then you could have a more general approach to that, especially when you're not talking about uh, BSc or BA programs, but about MA or MSc programs, um, where you expect people you know, to go into, you know, probably after already working, after already having worked in the industry, then go back and get a master's degree and then work in a more senior role when they have accomplished that. So I think that's another um, whole kettle of fish that we're probably not going to get into, but um, just from this formal structure that we have right now, it doesn't really, and uh, there's this tension between the idea of a university degree and the level of specialization that you actually need. Well, I think, uh we saw that, especially the industry says, uh, we need people that are fit for the job, which uh, is somehow uh, quite in sync with Bologna, because they say, all right, after bachelor you should be okay for operating something. Uh, I still think uh, that this is, of course, one level where you start to go into business, but on the other side, we need the inspired artists that are able to give the new impulse to the whole genre, and to the whole medium. Uh, one thing that I think everybody agreed upon was um, uh, the bachelor system, which is kind of complicated um, structure because it's kind of limited. Maybe, um, well, um, master degree uh, for master degree that might be different, but um, it seems to be very hard to um, to uh, provide uh, as much um, input as possible in a very limited time structure. The first thing that I learned from the panel is the diversity of opinions. We had four panelists and all four had different views, they mentioned different aspects and this richness of uh, opinions, of experiences really convinced me that it was a good question to ask. The answer, however, uh, we could see has to be in the end more differentiated. We have to differentiate between vocational uh, education, bachelor, master, maybe even postgraduate, and we have to specify certain goals, the general fundament, uh, what everybody has to know about audiovisual medium, media, whether they are painter or directors in the movies or game designers, and then the special um, aspects, uh, the specialty of the medium, where is its strength in comparison to the other medium.